Harvard professor, told uh, the site Salon.com recently that the election, quote, clearly represented a backlash against the progress black people have made since 1965, epitomized symbolically by the election and term of a black man in the White House. Do you agree that some of this was a backlash against? Uh, I, unfortunately, I think he's, I think he's correct in that. Um, and, and, and I would hope as a country we've gone beyond that, but I'm afraid that that's the case. And, and I'll go a step further. President Obama, uh, you know, from the day he got into office, was not allowed to really push his agenda along. And, and, and a lot of the Republicans had, 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 a, had an agenda to not let him be successful. And despite their efforts to, to make him not successful, uh, he's been able, he's, he's going to go down in history in a lot of cases as a great president because of what he's done with universal health insurance for all Americans and also what he did in the economy. When he took over the economy, he took over a, a country that was at the low point, you can argue, of in the history of the country, even lower. There was more money lost during the recession of 2007 and 8 than there was during the Great Depression. And President Obama came in with double-digit unemployment number. He came in with, with economies, all states and cities stagnant all over the country. He's leaving, and, and, and the stock market is, is soaring. Unemployment's in single digits, and there's, there's growth in just about almost every sector of this country. Not all this country, because there's some parts of the country that, that, needs, that needs, still needs help, but um, the Republicans have made it perfectly clear from the beginning. And part of that, I'm, I'm convinced, is based on race. 